Vernon Dean, a tranquil Hampshire village nestled in the heart of England. Quiet, peaceful, traditional, a real community with a welcoming pub at its centre. The George, where the landlord welcomes the village ladies with open arms, and sometimes the men are invited in too. But Vernon Dean has a little known history as a hotbed of militancy and unrest, and the ghosts of that time still walk the lanes. The restless spirits of the oppressed women folk still rise in protest. 100 years ago, Vernon Dean was a very different place for women. The men would gather in the pub, drinking, smoking, relaxing after a hard day's work, while the women were excluded confined to the home and kept out of sight behind closed doors. Life was tough. There were no mod cons. Every house had a scrubber. Just keeping the kitchen floor clean was exhausting. There was no online ordering from Tesco. Home delivery had a very different meaning back then. and payment wasn't by credit card. There were no takeaway pizzas from the pub. Husbands had no idea what their wives endured delivering a tasty menu. But unlike today, you could beat a good cook. But change was in the air, a stalwart group all women of a certain age, came forward and made a stand against inequality. These brave ladies fought to have their voices heard in a society dominated by men. In those dark times, when there was no such word as glamour, the group of gorgeous, young and beautiful grandmothers broke the mould, put on a bit of slap and set out to change the course of history. The Glammies were born. They set about raising the profile of women, marching on the George, waving placards, chanting, Votes for Women! To maximise their exposure, they held the first recorded hunger strike, resisting cake for, well, minutes. Suffering pain and humiliation in the fight for women's rights, they chained themselves in protest to the church gates. There was no end to the discomfort these brave soldiers put themselves through. A sisterhood built on mutual support and sharing. The protests continued with the women facing brutal hostility from the men folk of the village who sought to suppress their zeal. The sound of a good spanking was often heard echoing across the valley, much to the disgust of the sisters in arms. While the outside world thought that the Glammies were making jam and sewing samplers, the truth was quite different. Under the auspices of the Vernon Dean Intricate Crafts Circle, they met weekly in the village hall to discuss their battle plans. Secrecy was paramount. Tonight you all get to drop in on a meeting of the Intricate Craft Circle as the Glammies get a visit from suffragette leader Emmeline Spankfirst and her lieutenant Ethel Jailer. But first, let's meet the Glammies. Bunty Thrills, a suffragette obsessive desperate to be admitted to the party. 
virginity dick intention, a rebellious young woman wanting to change the status quo. Ernestine Wock, an old girl with one hell of a past and more tales to tell than Anne Pringle. Fanny Faircombe, a rather dippy mother of 14 children with another on the way. Prudence Pinch, keen and willing, but a shilling or two short of a pound. <laughs>